Michael Petherick's just arrived to join me in London and we're going to go and do our Christmas shopping together. Ta -da! <laughs> I can't me. believe you're in London. This is I'm so know I'm here. I've been travelling for six hours, so I'm a bit tired, but um, here I am. Okay, well, I have tea and whiskey. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> Show me where it is. Not been to London for a while. So what do you want to do? I really, really want to go and find some nice tea. Fortnum and Mason, they do good tea. We're going to go there. <laughs> what is it that you want to buy in Fortnum? Why are we here? Well, I'm here because um, there is uh, a tea that I've been wanting for quite a long time. And I, I didn't want to order it online. I wanted to actually come and get it in person. And uh, apparently it, it's a favourite of the Queen. What is it? It's a smoky Earl Grey. Each day you get a different tea. Wow. That looks like a gunpowder. Have you found it? It's here. Thank you. It works very well with roast up. That's the one. I'm, I'm going to get some jasmine tea as well. Okay. But apparently you have to get it from the counter. Yeah, I'll have a uh, hundred grams of that one, then, please. Thank you. I'm just looking at these beautiful tea trainers. I mean, look at that. Look at that. How lovely is that? Oh. Rose gin, and then when you have tonic water, the magic happens. Oh wow! <laughs> That's really so pleasing. Isn't it? Can I try yes. one of those? You'd better have that one. What's it like? So that one will be quite strong, actually. Oh so good. I'll, I'll top it up. Oh sorry. Thank you. I want to talk to them for a second. Well, that's really good. Mm. You created this gin? Yes. Yes. It's yes. It's really amazing. It's really delicious. What made you do it? Um, well, we've got some beautiful old fashioned roses. David Austin roses in our garden. And I was tinkering with a still, and I realized it changed color. And I realized that roses dry, whereas most roses are food with roses um, made with rose water. And um, yeah, I just felt like it should be a gin. And we've worked with David Austin's like rosarians so that um, really? because they haven't actually had their roses that have been used as an ingredient before. Yeah. He's the Queen's rosarian. Wow. And um, yeah, so he was very, very excited that his roses are actually an ingredient now. So that was a, it's been quite a long journey to get the blend right. This is our Christmas treat. Um, rose gin. It's a bottle for life. So you buy this bottle once and then you just refill it. I'm so excited. So we're going to get one of these. And it's such a nice bottle as well. Yeah, it really, really is. Nice. Now we're going to go and have a look around Liberties. I heard that most of the timber used to build this shop was actually um, reused timber from old ships, like all the oak. So you think that this piece might have... Well, maybe not well. this piece, but a lot of the beams used to construct it were, yeah, parts of old ships. Liberties really is a shop full of things that you never knew you needed until you suddenly see them. I've got exactly the same arger as this in the basement of the chateau in pieces waiting to be like put somewhere. But where are you going to put it? I have no idea. I love these old Identical. Burgers. Identical. Oh. It's still got its oh. old paperwork. It's, it's amazing. Instructions. Can you guarantee, guarantee. it's a little bit out of guarantee? Well, this one now. is. This is 1940s. I love Argus. It's definitely Christmas in London. Oh, ooh, yeah. But not with these jeans, though. Being... But you know what? This is a really good fit. Turn around. Yeah. Stephanie's talked me into buying this jacket. <laughs> um, <laughs> and actually, she's really nice, so I can't say no. You um, couldn't live without that. That's Christmas in a um, single jacket. Yes, so it's the jacket or food, and we're going to have the jacket. If I'm wearing this... I think I have to wear that. Look. Uh, it's a match made in heaven. Oh, what do you think? Sold to the think? highest bidder. Stephanie! Yes. Let's do it and not eat. Let's do it and not okay, eat. Okay, no, we'll eat pasta. We'll eat pasta and, and gin. <laughs> From Fortnum and Mason, we have purchased a truffle. <laughs> it's only an autumn truffle, as everyone said to us. Yeah, it's only an autumn truffle. Well, but only an autumn truffle. Truffle, it still is. Still, it's the first truffle we've ever bought. And it's um, currently kept prisoner in this, this strange chamber. They gave us the chamber. Yes. Um, and I now need to shave it. <laughs> yeah, so the problem is we bought a truffle without having a truffle shaver. And in my flat, the closest we can get to a truffle shaver is a vegetable peeler, which somehow feels wrong, doesn't it? Mm. 
does. So um, I'm going to give it a go and uh, we'll see how it Yeah, I do out. feel that like having splashed out on the truffle because we felt we couldn't afford to eat out after going to Zara, um, we couldn't really afford a truffle shaver as well. Well, here goes. It's very clear to me, Michael, that we didn't need a truffle shaver. I mean, look, look at that. No, you, went you have done so thin, beautiful, thin. beautiful job. The best shaved truffle. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Bon appétit. Can we do this every day? Yes, we can. <laughs> I think I look very good like this. this. This saves a lot of makeup. Yeah, I think you look gorgeous. Very, um... Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> but that's not what you're supposed to say! <laughs> <laughs> you're impossible to put it on, you keep flinching. Oh, it tickles. <laughs> Stop like, flinching like or I'll get it into your it's eyes. Like cold and tickly. I've thought about it long and hard, and it's going in the beard. Right, okay. Yeah, it's needed. Otherwise, you just look too uneven. <laughs> so, what are we going to watch, Stephanie? <laughs> Happy death day doesn't sound really cheerful. We have decided. It's yes. a unanimous decision. And what are we watching, Stephanie? Mamma Mia, here we go again. Yay! Here we go again. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Pederick. An exciting caught, thing is happening. You caught me. I was just um, having some tea from Fortnum and Mason. Oh, can I join you please? Which one is it? Which of one have you chosen? Of course you can. Well, this is the one that I really wanted to get when I came to London. And it is a uh, smoky Earl Grey. Should we use a teapot? Have we got a teapot? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, well, we'll use a teapot. Okay. What do you have to go with toast? Do you have any Marmite? This teapot was my 21st birthday present from Nick. Oh, so last week then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Marmite, yes, we have Marmite. Oh, yay. Marmite! So Marmite, butter and bread, and that is me That's sorted us. for breakfast. So Nicole, you're showing us all the fun little parts of Hampstead. Yeah. I'm showing, we've just been to one of my old school haunts, the coffee cup in, in Hampstead, which hasn't changed since I was like 16. Sadly, quite a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're, where are we? We're in Waterstones, we're in Waterstones Hampstead. Uh, Hampstead, and We've just found Angel's book, The Vintage Tea Party. It's so gorgeous. The reissued version. And on the back is my illustration. It's touring. You did that. I did that. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. It is. You are really talented. It's so good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at her vintage, vintage tea party book. It's nice. It's, it's a those beautiful are, book. Those are really cool wow. recipes for baking and mm, making that looks lovely. drinks yeah. and cocktails. And... Edible flowers. Beautiful book, perfect Christmas present. Michael's illustration. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment that I've been waiting for. Okay, so this is the gin we got yesterday mm. and we're about to try it. It's a very good bottle. Yeah, it's, I've never seen one like that before. So we, I think you just sort of pop that off, Ooh. that little metal thing, and undo the label and then Oh, it's wow. like an apothecary bottle. Look at and that. And it does feel quite medicinal. Okay, I suppose that, what was that, like a little measure as well? Try I it. think it does work as a measure. I'll try it differently. Like straight away. Oh. There you go. Oh, you did that one that. perfectly. Ice, of course. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, it does turn pink. Indeed, it has turned pink. And there you have it, a rose gin. Michael, that is my new favourite gin, without a doubt. So you're just going to pretend that yours is the same strength as everyone else's, are you, Michael Jackson? Yeah, well, explain I, why yours is deep red and yeah, everyone else's is pink. I, I've made it a double by accident. By accident, yeah. yeah. Well, really everyone accidental. can see what you've done now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for a swanky night out with our new Christmas clothes. Hello. Well, hello. Look, well, hello. Look. Where are we going? He's wearing his beautiful jacket. <laughs> We are going to Five Hartford Street, but we can't film inside, sadly, but I wanted you to see how amazing Michael looks. <laughs> so elegant. I love the fact that we dress like this when we go home on a bus. On a bus, yes. <laughs> how common. Upstairs? Upstairs, I think. Upstairs. Best seat in the house. 